In this lecture, we will learn 2421 code. Like 8421 code, 2421 is also a BCD code. This is also a BCD code. Each decimal digit is encoded into a 4-bit BCD number with positional weights being 2421. These are the weights of position in this code and uh, we will encode decimal digits. Decimal digits are from 0 to 9 and we will have two sets, set 1 and set 2. I will explain what is there in set 1 and what is there in set 2. Sometimes 2421 code is also written as 2 asterisk 4 2 1 we can write 2421 code like this also now what is the significance of asterisk we use asterisk to distinguish this two and this two in this way of representation we cannot distinguish them this two and this two but by using asterisk we can distinguish this two the msb2 now we will move to this table column 1 is for decimal digit we have 0 to 9 as the decimal digit column number 2 is for set 1 and column number 3 is for set 2. In set 1, what we will do, we will try to implement the decimal digit by using the bits with lower significance. And in set number 2, I will try to prove self-complementing property of 2421 code. So let's start with it. In set number 1, we can represent 0 like this, 0, 0, 0, 0. And in set number 2 also, we will represent 0 like this because there is no other way to represent 0 these are the weights of position and to obtain 0 we need to make coefficients of all the four positions equal to 0 now we will represent 1 1 is represented like this 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 because there is no other way to represent 1 we will represent 2 2 is represented like this 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 now remember in set number 1 I will just select the bits with lower significance and in set number 2 I will try to prove the cell complementing property of 2421 code so for this purpose 2 is represented as 0 0 1 0 and in set number 2 also 2 is represented as 0 0 1 0 now we will represent 3 3 is represented like this 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 now we can represent 3 like this also 1 0 0 1 weight of this position is equal to 2 weight of this position is equal to 4 weight of this position is 2 and weight of this position is 1 so we will make this 4 equal to 0 this 2 equal to 0 then we have 2 plus 1 equals to 3 but I'm not going to represent 3 like this because I just told you in set number 1 I will just take the bits with lower significance and if you see significance of this bit this bit here is more than the significance of bit here so we will represent 3 like this now we will represent 4 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 again you can represent 4 like this 1 0 1 0 weight of this position is 2 weight of this position is also 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 but again the same reason I will not select the bit with higher significance now we will move to 5 in set number 1 5 is represented like this 0 1 0 1 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and in set number 2 5 is represented like this so 1 0 1 1 2 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 5. Now we will move to 6. 6 is represented like this in set number 1 and 6 is represented like this in set number 2. 4 plus 2 is 6 and 2 plus 4 is also 6. In this set we are just trying to have the bits with lower significance and in this set we are implementing the self complementing property of 2421 code right let's move to 7 in set number 1 we will represent 7 like this 0 1 1 1 and in set number 2 we will represent 7 like this 1 1 0 1 let's move to 8 in set number 1 it is represented like this and in set number 2 also we will represent 8 
like this. So representation of 8 is same in set number 1 and set number 2 and finally 9 is represented like this because there is no other way to represent 9 because 9 is the maximum possible sum 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 9. Now let's try to prove how this code is self complementing. If you remember the first presentation I told you in case of self complementing code 9 is complement of 0. 9 is complement of 0. 8 is complement of 1. 7 is complement of 2 and so on. So let's try to check whether this condition is satisfied or not. This is 9, 1, 1, 1, 1 and uh, this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So if you take the complement of this, we are going to get 9, that is 1, 1, 1, 1. So 9 is complement of 0. Now we will check for 8. 8 should be complement of 1. 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1 and if we take the complement, we are going to get 1, 1, 1, 0 and 8 is 1, 1, 1, 0. So 8 is complement of 1 and uh, 7 should be complement of 2. 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. Let's take the complement. We'll have 1, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1 is the 7 and in the same way if you check you will find that 2421 code is self complementing. So this set is preferred. This set is preferred set. We are not going to use this set because of the self complementing property of 2421 code. So whenever in exam there is a question on 2421 code and uh, you need to make the table for it just remove this column and uh, you are left with column number one that is for decimal digit and column number two in which we have proved the self complementing property of 2421 code. Now we will move to other codes in BCD. This is the table in which I have already written the other 4 bit BCD codes. The first one is 7421 code, the second one is 5421 code, the third one is 3321 code, the fourth one is 842 complement 1 complement code, and the last one is 742 complement 1 complement code. This table is important because in quiz I am going to ask questions from this table. So please go through this table. Now we will move to homework problem. In first homework problem you have to convert convert 37 in decimal to 2421 code and in second homework problem obtain the decimal equivalent of 2421 code. I am giving the 2421 code and you have to obtain the decimal equivalent of it. The 2421 code is 0100 one one zero zero one 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 zero. This is the two four two one code. This is two four two one code and you have to obtain the decimal equivalent for this code. Now I will stop this lecture. I will leave you with this table. If you want you may write it somewhere. This is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.